at 6 next month, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear a case from Indiana, and it could impact tens of millions of Americans. That's right. Our Sierra Putman explains what we've learned about the case. And Sierra, the court's decision could limit when nursing home residents and their families can get together and sue. But in this case, they're only talking about publicly run nursing homes. This particular case involves the family of an Indiana nursing home patient and the Health and Hospital Corporation of Marion County, or HHC. HHC runs the Marion County Public Health Department, Eskenazi Hospital, and 78 Indiana nursing homes. Georgie Tulevsky was a dementia patient at one of those nursing homes. His family is suing HHC, saying it violated the nursing home patient's Bill of Rights. That was passed by Congress for Medicaid patients. HHC denies any wrongdoing. But the argument in the Supreme Court is not about that. It's asking the Supreme Court if his family should be able to file a federal lawsuit against a publicly run nursing home. Basically, this case asks the following question. When Congress spends money, gives money to state or local governments to do something and says um, uh, those state or local governments have to honor people's rights in certain ways, such as in this case, in a nursing home, can the people in the nursing home, can the, the, the victims of misconduct actually file a federal lawsuit and say, my federally guaranteed rights were injured? Indiana University law professor Steve Sanders says the case would only impact certain federally funded programs. Georgie's daughter Susie says her family never wanted this case to go to the Supreme Court. She just wanted to fight for her dad. My dad did not deserve to be treated worse than a dog. Absolutely. Nobody does, in fact. And, you know, I was responsible for him. And I was not going to let them abuse him in that way. Representatives for HHC did not respond to our request for comments on this case. However, the board did meet this afternoon. We should note that how this case got to the Supreme Court is under scrutiny. Apparently, the move was made without a public hearing or the board's decision. Indiana's public access counselor said that was a violation of the state's open door law. All right, Sierra, thanks so much.